The Edmund Lowe Library is one of the most commonly used buildings on Oklahoma State's campus, but it's not just used for studying, but for sleeping. Edmund Lowe has many phenomenal places to study, hold group meetings, and receive tutoring, but these places are slowly dwindling due to the restless students taking naps in our study spots. It is a common sight to see Oklahoma State students in the library putting aside their daily schoolwork to catch up on a nap between class. These individuals take up space that can be used by students who want to finish their homework and study for an upcoming test, but it is turning into a sweet spot for catching up on lost sleep. Year after year, the sleeping epidemic continues to grow. We set out to find the reasoning behind these naps that are taking our study spots. According to our research, 80% of the students we talk to have used the library to catch up on a quick nap, whether that's a few minutes in between classes or for multiple hours at a time. We interviewed a few students on what they thought about the sleeping epidemic sweeping through the Edmund Lowe Library. Zach Helms is a junior at Oklahoma State, pursuing a degree in political science with minors in Spanish and psychology. He believes that naps in the library are a must to succeed in school. So I live in Bennett Hall, which is like 20 minutes from campus, or at least it feels like, as far as a walk is concerned. So since the library is kind of a central part on campus, and just come in here and, and take a quick nap. Usually I don't like stay the night here, but a quick nap is, is pretty solid for my schedule. Corbin Lovelady is a junior accounting major, and he finds it odd when people sleep in the library, when they can just go take a nap in their bed. I don't think, depending on where it is, people should sleep in the library. Like if it's like in, uh, like a study room that you have to like rent out, I feel like it's kind of like wasted space. Keep a lookout for the sleeping epidemic sweeping multiple university libraries across the country. It could end up affecting you when you least expect it.